Hello and uh, welcome back to my video about the Docker and how we can create the Docker registry. In this video I will show how you can make the notification about uh, the Docker registry. That's meaning when you do something in the registry and how it react. The first you want to do is uh, have this configuration file. You can read it down here or you can copy it from an exist registry uh, container if you have this. If you have watching some of my other videos so you can just type docker container cp as copy then the container name and then the path to the config yaml file and then back to the root so let's going back for the video uh, sorry not the video to the editor and then here in the below of the file we need to type a little more configuration so we need to type notification And we have an endpoint, and the name for the first endpoint should be request bin. And the URL for this, it's a uh, auto generated. This is uh, your URL. That's just meaning when you do something, it will trigger this uh, to this URL. So let's go in for the browser. I have. Uh, a little stuff here. You can go into requestbin.net and mark as private, only viewable in this browser, and create it here. This link you have here, you need to copy. And then going back for the editor and say paste it in. Um, and then we have pasted in, we are ready to go in for the compose file we have here to edit it a little bit inside. And inside here we need to add a one more. We need to the configuration file. It should be config yaml. And it need to go in for the Docker registry. And then config yaml file. And that should be it. So let's spin this server up. then we need to what's wrong here okay it's because we already have a container I have it here and we just want to stop this to create it this one we need to stop And then we try it one more time. And now it's up and running. Let's go in for the other one, the other tab here. Let's go in for the browser. We have it the uh, browser here. And still nothing, so that's fine. Let's go in for the terminal here and say Docker check Ubuntu. Um, let's say Nginx, it's much smaller. Localhost 5000 nginx and then we say docker push ngin localhost 5000 nginx then we should push it up here by going back to the browser it should do something here yes now you can see it's it's basically pushing what we do download for request and you can see we have a lot of stuff here request put and repository and something like that and what you can do this, uh, do uh, use this for, sorry, you can use it to automatically build. If you use deployment services uh, like Jenkins, I know that's supported. I have read about it. Um, then, then you can connect the Docker up for the deployment services. And when it's hit the services, it will deploy your images out for your yeah, staging environment, development environment, the production is up to you. Or you can start building your own stuff. But that's how it's working. Every time something happens for your registry, then you can hit the other server to receive the requests. In this case, requestbin.net. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoy. And remember, 
you can always find this uh, composer files and the config files uh, on my github in my docker uh, repositories i will link it in the below in the description and i hope you want to subscribe my channel if you don't know how to subscribe you can hit the subscribe button on the right corner in the in the down below the thing and i hope you give it a like and a share and of course put it into your playlist so you already always can find it again thank you so much and hope to see you next time bye bye